Kathy Thomas, and joining me today will be the chef and director of culinary operations at Zove's Restaurants and Cafes, Louis Jackson. He will show us how to make an irresistible dish that showcases sautéed sea bass. Welcome, chef. You use sumac in this recipe. What does that bring to the dish? Oh gosh, this beautiful berry-like tartness and brightness that is just unforgettable. Perfect with fish. It just makes me hungry to, just to think about it. Let's get started. Today we're gonna to be using barramundi or Australian sea bass. But you could use other kinds of fish too. Yeah, firm white fish, swordfish, other sea basses. We're gonna season this with a little bit of sea salt, both sides. And on one side, generously coat it with a sumac. This is incredible, look at that. All right, a little bit of olive oil. Now this doesn't have to be scorching heat, okay? Because okay. the sumac does tend to, tend to burn, you know? And about how long are you gonna cook it on the first side? On the first side, what I like to do is about, you know, around two minutes. Mm -hmm. And depending on the thickness that you cut it, All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a peek. And I see that it's just getting a little caramelized yes. around the edge. That's when you know it's almost, right. should be oh, ready to beautiful. turn. Yes, here we go. We wanna go ahead at this point now, take it off and let the residual heat of this pan take care of the rest Finish of the Finish it cookie. off. Absolutely. All right. So we're ready to set that aside. And here's our vegetable pan. Right. And you're gonna shave the Brussels sprouts? Yes, what I find the easiest way is you just take one side and get a flat surface yes. so it doesn't roll around on you. Uh, so now it's firm. So go ahead and continue that. If you feel that radiant mm -hmm. heat mm -hmm. coming out, typically it's pretty hot. We're gonna drop some oil in here. I also like to fortify it with a little bit of butter also. Because you know what? It tastes good. Butter is love, butter is good. <laughs> in go the shaved Brussels sprouts. In goes the shaved Brussels sprouts. You know, toss it around a little bit. Now we layer the, uh, the baby spinach. Right. All we're wanting to do is we just wilt the, wilt the vegetables. We don't need to cook it to death. So let's let that set aside, just like we've done with the fish over there. Okay. And then we'll start with the sauce. A bit of olive oil. We're gonna do the butter thing again. Garlic and shallots as mm -hmm. well. Let that cook in there for, you know, about a good 25 to 30 seconds. You want to get the uh, garlic to be slightly brown. Mm -hmm. to start getting that nutty flavor. And then the, and the, the shallots yeah. too, to, to just bring the sweetness out mm -hmm. of the shallots. We're gonna add some capers to this. Let that, you know, get socialized in there mm -hmm. with the garlic and the shallots. The aroma is so lovely. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah. Ooh. A touch of lemon juice. Fresh squeezed orange juice as well. And don't you love what citrus brings to fish? Gosh, it, it just, it kind of wakes everything up. Mm -hmm. We're letting it reduce. Mm -hmm. Now, by doing that, we're allowing the, the water to evaporate, and then therefore that the citrus becomes even more concentrated in flavor. Black pepper, fresh black pepper. Now, stay away from the salt at this point. Okay. Because the capers offer plenty of that. I'm gonna add some baby mm -hmm. teardrop tomatoes. Just cut them in half. Mm -hmm. We wanna cook those till they're just slightly tender. I got some fresh chopped parsley. Now butter adds flavor, but it also just thickens it. Yeah. In this just magical way. Now the fun part. Okay. Let's, let's put everything together. I like to start with a generous amount of this vegetable. The fish right on top. Our citrus caper butter sauce. Mm -hmm. These happen to be micro or petite greens and there's a mix of them. This is just a perfect make-at-home dish. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. My pleasure. Here's a quick tip for Melissa's. Need a quick weeknight dinner? How about some black bean tostadas? That can fill the bill. Start by cooking until soft some chopped garlic, onion, and red bell pepper. Then jazz up the mix by adding a little bit of chilies ground chili, and ground cumin. And I'm gonna add some canned 
black beans. And I've drained off some of the liquid. Some of the liquid is still there. And I want to just heat those off. Oh, let it all get happy. So this has had about four minutes to heat. And I'm just going to take a, a potato masher here and mash up some of the beans. Store-bought tostadas, all crisp and ready to go. On go these lovely beans. And I want to make sure that I get plenty of those red bell peppers, because that's one of my faves. What you put on now is up to you. You could put on chopped lettuce, you could put on some shredded cabbage, which is what I like, because it's real crunchy. Some avocado. I like chile verde, so green salsa on the top. Just a smidgen of salt, because I'm going to add some queso fresco, and that's going to add a little bit of salt. And then some radishes, and I'm done. Pour out a nice glass of cerveza, dinner's ready.